Hi everyone, this is Dr. Hafez from Scholars Dental. We want to show you all the cool different features we have in our online AFK course. So this way you'll learn how each feature could benefit you in your studies and help you prepare for the AFK exam. If you have further questions and you want more details, please contact us. You'll see the email and phone in the description box below and other links as well. And book your free consult so that you and I will meet and we could talk over Zoom one on one and figure out for your specific situation, what's the best way to approach the AFK exam and the NDEB process. So let's get started. Okay, so the feature I want to discuss in this video is the schedule and the study guide because they're kind of like, you know, they feel the similar. So um, once you have access to our course, you'll see, well, we also send you the schedule here, you can see, and the study guide. So if you click on those, you'll get them, you know, kind of, they'll just open up. And let's look at the schedule just so that we give you an idea of how we do things here. Okay, so let me kind of... Uh, I'll just keep it like this for now. Okay, so our schedule, um, it's just a schedule. I mean, every course has a schedule. This, it's not a unique feature, but the way we design the schedule is always consistent so that this is the best, best way that we or I, you know, we kind of concluded is to receive information. Like we went through the schedule in a way that, okay, should they have this first or this? And if they have this, what's better? And what's more important? That's how detailed and we keep it consistent and it's not just based on availability of instructors, right? So the first thing we want to go through is basic science. Um, we find that should be in the beginning of the course. Uh, it is important, but also it's not a goal itself. It's more of a way to understand other subjects. So it's good to begin with it. We have ethics and epidemiology as well. So I have my, I went through my own basic, I created my own basic science kind of, uh, you know, uh, lecture because I went through a bunch of books of basic science, histology, physiology, even some chemistry, uh, immunology, everything you need there. And then I went through AFK questions and I studied pharma and I studied patho. And then I kind of figure out what you need in basic science to make you excellent in other subjects and in general in answering, uh, you know, a board exam questions or AFK questions. So, so here you can see you do basic science first, that comes in its own book. And then you have, uh, after that, we want to quickly build, right? So you don't forget the concepts to build on pharma one and two, like math. You know, you learn certain concepts in math that help you build another concept and another concept, like addition, multiplication, then more and more, right? So we need to jump to pharma to help you build on what you learn in basic science. This will reinforce what you learn there. And then pathology. So you get the pathology after that because you want to use the histology you learned here. And then anesthesia, which is kind of a relief. So once you do that, um, you've gone through the medical part, which we call the, you know, uh, learn the medicine, become the doctor kind of section. So that's the blue book. And it's good to be in the beginning of the course. People go like, whoa, it started difficult. That's better than starting easy than getting difficult. It's good to kind of get you ready for difficulty in the beginning than finding things easier later on. It feels better. Also, a good reason why we want to start with these is learning the names of and, and diseases it is something that's easy to forget we know this right everybody kind of worries about pharma and patho so that gives you uh you know the rest of the course to to uh practice the names and and of patho and pharma and we have special tools for that we do so the special tools we have for that are like the audio we have afk audio we have afk um uh, we have also a review session. We have names in the back of the books that you want to review from as well. So a lot of tools to help you practice these names. If you give them 10 minutes a day, we're going to talk about those features in different videos. But, but if you do them consistently over the course, let's say you give 10 minutes every day for pharma, 10 minutes for patho, you're going to become an expert in their names. Okay. Then after that, we, we have a little break. And I like to, if I can create a break, I would like to do that after this right um after the blue book sometimes we can't because you know the exam just doesn't work but if we, if we can make it happen I, I i would like to do that because it helps students catch up uh, get a week off where there is nothing new they could go back and reflect on what they learned 
after that, we start with our engineering book. You could call it the engineering or the mechanical book. And we have to start with dental materials before you learn how to do restorative, then restorative. So you want to learn how to repair a one tooth before you learn how to replace teeth. Um, then, and then you have ortho as well. So that's kind of the green book where we become the engineer kind of thing, right? Um, we do push ortho down a bit because we find it's not as, um, you know, essential. It is obviously important, but it's not like endo where it's like a very, very general dentist kind of thing, right? So you do this prosto, we get another review here, uh, another week off. Now this could be in different areas, but in this schedule it happens to be here. Then, and as I said, most of the time on these, on these weeks off, we, we open the previous section so that you could uh, go back and catch up if you do miss anything or review. Then we go into the surgical book, the infection treating book, the treatment book, the endodontics, the periodontics, right? Treating diseases, treating, uh, you know, dental illnesses, and then the oral surgery and radiology. So then we do these three at the end. So you can see ortho is here and oral surgery and radiology, kind of like the specialty, you know, high end specialty kind of subjects Just push them to the end uh, because these are more essential. You're, you're expected to know more about these, you know, than than these here. So and having them toward the end means you could uh, study them. You will end up studying them less. That's OK. Not everything has to be equal 100 percent. We have we do provide a, a suggested study plan or help students with the study plan. Then you have the review and then mocks at the end. Uh, and that's where we'll open the videos so that you could uh, go back and review. Sometimes we'll open them for two weeks, three weeks, depends. And for students that took our course in, in, the, in the 2020 or 2021, they get the three week ticket system uh, where they could come in the last three weeks. They don't do the mocks, but they could. That's a different topic. So I'm not going to discuss that here. Um, so that is the schedule. Now, we also have a study guide, which is basically uh, telling students what they should do each week, because we notice from our online experience is that students need to be told how to do it's It's more motivating and, and helps them with, you know, discipline as well. If they're if someone's telling them exactly what to do every week, um, otherwise they could get lost. Right. And, and that's normal because, you know, you're, you're kind of trying to study, but you don't know how to approach it, how long things should take. So if you look at this study guide, it tells you each week what you have to do exactly. We have a video also about how one week of the course looks like. So you could kind of watch that video to learn how one week is like an order. How, how does it work? It's pretty much this. I go through this, but this is a study guide to show you what you're doing before you watch the lectures, you do a quiz. Uh, and then once you get to the bread and butter part of the module, you want to watch the videos, basic science, one video, solve their questions, watch the answers. Uh, and then you can see here, it says, okay, now on day two. So what does day one and day two mean? Just for some of you that are wondering is that it's basically reflects like what we used to teach on Saturday during the in-class and what we used to teach on Sunday is day two. So this means you should be able to finish all this in one day if you are doing seven to eight hours full-time studying. So it gives you a gauge, a measure of how fast you're going. If you find yourself take, you know, it's taking you, uh, three days to finish this, these here, that means you're something is wrong. You're doing something slower than usual. And we need to talk about it and, f and solve that problem. If you're doing it fast, that's good. If, if, as long as you're learning. So if you're someone studying full time, you should be able to finish these here in one day because it's worth one day. We taught it on Saturday in seven to eight hours. Um, if you're doing part time where you're working, uh, and you know, you can't really give seven hours a day, then try to keep it maximum two days. So you might finish these videos uh, Monday, Tuesday, and then these videos, you might finish them Wednesday, Thursday, and that's it. Um, whereas someone that has full time studying may finish them Monday and then finish these on Tuesday, right? And someone in between where they finish all of these on Wednesday. So everybody's going to be different, but it's just kind of a gauge to see how fast you're going. And then after lecture instructions where, okay, solve the post lecture quiz, uh, solve these questions if you have time, but if you don't just watch the answer videos, uh, and I showed you guys that there's question videos in, in, in the previous feature video. Okay. But it's just recommended kind of, Hey, if you have time, why not try to do a self quiz before you see the solutions and the explanations, uh, just to practice. Okay. So this is a study guide that helps you kind of, and, and 
I need you to understand this if you're taking the course. This is created for someone that is de dedicating themselves to do full time studying so that they don't feel like so that they feel like they could maximize the benefit of the course. But not everybody's going to be able to do this. If you're someone that is busy and you don't have time, you might have to skip the quiz, the pre lecture quiz. You might have to skip the post lecture quiz. You might have to skip these self mocks and just go straight to the videos where I told you guys, you know, if you just, you go straight to the to the videos here, right? Like you just watch the lecture video, then the uh, question video. That's it. But if you have time, um, then I do recommend that you do the quizzes. You do solve the questions before watching the videos, so that the the question video, so that you practice. But if you don't, then you don't have time. Then you have to do what you can. Do your best, right? So you can see pharmacology even you know has its study guide and it says okay review this from basic science before it would be helpful if you review that a little bit extra right and it just keeps going until the mocks that's pretty much it so you have a study guide now this is a study guide yes you want to use the study guide of course but i uh, also in 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 beginning of every module we have intro videos right that kind of give you a little like huddle okay So we also do like a little, uh, you know, you could say before the, watching the videos, before the module huddle, like I could get in there and go like, imagine it's like a morning meeting, just kind of telling you how the overview of that module is, what each, where you should finish, which video you should finish, you know, on what day and stuff like that. So that is kind of like a study guide in its own way. Um, and we do have something called the study plan. Sometimes I give it to the, at the end of the course for students that are taking the exam to kind of see how do they start um, studying for the exam when they're getting closer to the exam? I could make a separate uh, video for that because this one's getting too long already. Um, and we don't always do the study of plants more on request. And then we, we kind of just explain it to the students sometimes. Okay. Cause everybody has their own way of preparing for the exam at the end. Right. So that's pretty much it for this. Hope you guys enjoyed and understood the benefits of the way we make the course in the study guide. Um, great. So I'll see you guys in the next one. There you have it. I hope you enjoyed the feature we talked about today. And remember, the earlier you register, uh, the sooner you'll get the books, right? So we really encourage that. And if you, if you have any questions, please contact us. You'll find our contact info in the description box below uh, and our registration links as well. And if you have any questions or you want a free consult, please send us an email and we'll book you that free consult. And I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.